My name is Elizabeth Condon. My paintings focus on landscape and the deja vu in their overlap. I grew up in Los Angeles down the street from a canyon. In my imagination, the decor of my family's suburban home forms the backdrop for the canyons, rivers, and rocks. Decor transcribes nature into simplified shapes and patterns. Setting the patterns free in flows of color, I challenge the traditional hierarchies of painting and its Western orientation. I live and work in New York City and Tampa, Florida. My studio in New York is a fifth floor walk-up in a public school building. The landscapes I paint there are thicker, more compressed, as if absorbing the urban density. Pouring calligraphy ink into the paint adds a soot-like film that darkens the color. In Florida, paint becomes translucent and watery, like the humidity in the air. Color is brighter as sun floods through windows and skylights. The studio I built accommodates large-scale paintings and many at once. Recent paintings and works on paper shown in Florida Contemporary exemplify the feminist and Asian sensibilities I bring to painting. Paper pieces made during Me Too feature warrior gods and goddesses from Mayan carvings that express my rage against unworkable social constructs. The turbulent liquid landscapes update the journeys in scroll painting for a world experiencing climate change. My work disrupts dominant patterns to show the hidden complexities behind them. On a six month residency at Swatch Art Peace Hotel Shanghai, I experienced a synthetic Chinese landscape. Illuminated flower logos bloomed and faded on buildings, sequentially programmed by remote control. The possibilities in painting and artificial space returned me to the decor of childhood. My first trip to Mexico in January introduced immersive environments and vernacular architecture. This union of art and life in Mexican culture points the way forward for my own work. I admire artists Wu Guangzhong, Joyce Kozlov, and Charles Birchfield for their commitment, technical prowess, depth of research, and artistic vision. Like my work, theirs is hybrid in nature sidestepping classification through cultural crossover. Yet scroll painting, decor, and abstraction are present in all. In my view, the anthropogenic landscape is mutable, as must be the work I make within it. Current events have propelled the merger of art and life I experienced in Mexico forward. As the landscape continues to change and evolve, I feel grateful to record its evolution and share what I find with others.